Good morning, scholars. I am so excited to be with you guys today. I wish I could be there in person, but unfortunately, I live all the way over in Washington, D.C., but at least I can visit with you guys virtually. So today we're going to be talking about something that's very dear to my heart, and that is identity. Who are you? Who am I? And so that's what we're going to be exploring. So first, let me introduce myself. My name is Miss Young, and I have known your teacher, Miss Money Hun, since we were in college almost 10 years ago. So here's a picture of us back when we were very young um, at, I think, a birthday party at a Japanese steakhouse. So she asked me to talk to you guys today, and I feel so special to get to meet you guys, and I can't wait to hear how your lesson goes. So. Identity is about who you are and where you're from. That's a huge part of what makes up your identity. So I'm going to start off by telling you guys where I'm from. I'm from the island of Guam. Well, I'm not really from there, but I was born there. And I do identify with that because I love the water, and I love the beach, and I love the ocean, and I feel like that's because I grew up basically swimming before I could walk. So the island Guam is a US territory located in the Pacific Ocean, as you can see in the image. It's a very beautiful place. Another thing that forms your identity is who your parents are and how they make up your story. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my parents. I want to start with my father. So my father was actually born and raised in Abilene, Texas. Who here has heard of Abilene? Okay, cool. My dad is in the Navy and he has been in the Navy for over 30 years. So here's a picture of me and my brother when we're on his ship when we were kids. Um, this is the kind of ship that he drives. And this was at one of his um, ceremonies where he was um, selected for a rear admiral. So I'm very proud of my father. And my father has shaped a lot of my identity. Part of my identity is Southern. Part of my identity is Texan. And part of my identity is African American because um, that's part of who I am, right? My father is also a Christian. My father is also a rule follower. My father is also, uh, you know, something that I don't follow that my father has. He wakes up very early because in, in the Navy, you have to wake up early. And I'm not a morning person. So I don't have everything the same as my father, but he's given me a lot of um, parts of myself that I identify with to this day. So... I want to talk to you next about my mother. So my mother was born in South Korea and she came to the US when she was around 10 years old. Uh, my mother is a huge influence in my life as well. We're very close. She actually homeschooled me until I went to high school um, and we still talk on the phone every single day. Uh, my mother influenced me a lot with her faith, with her drive, with her um, passion for life with her love of music and art and writing. Um, also, both my mom and my dad love to travel and I think that's a huge influence in who I am. I have moved over 18 times and I've lived in over 10 different states and in three different countries. So here's a picture of my family. As you can see, my family, we're like rainbows. We come in every color, every shade. We have um, three different religions, uh, multiple nationalities, multiple backgrounds. Um, but that's who we are, right? And I don't have the same identity that all of my cousins have or all my aunts and uncles have, and that's okay. I have my own identity, but we accept each other for our differences and we love them and we celebrate them. And this is a picture of me and my brother. My brother is my best friend. I definitely identify as a sister. I definitely identify um, as a member of my family, right? Because that's part of what makes me me. This is my brother and I. We're wearing a traditional Korean outfit. It's called a hanbok. Can you try to say that word? Hanbok? Yeah, exactly. So. I think we look super cute there. This is my brother's wedding. This is my sister-in-law. And this is my grandmother. Unfortunately, she passed on when I was in high school, but she's still very, very close to me and she definitely left her own legacy of who she is. And um, that influences me to this day. 
So there are so many things that make up who we are. Not just our families, although our families play a huge role in the language we speak, in the religions we might follow, in our ideas, our values. All of these things are influenced. So I just want to go through a few things that influence me, right? I love soccer. Believe it or not, <laughs> I love soccer. I grew up playing soccer my whole life, and I really like to play, and I like to watch. I've coached soccer for over five years, and um, Arsenal, I guess, is my international team, and my domestic team is DC United. I'm a Navy brat. I grew up all over the world, right? I'm a patriot. You know, I love America. I love my country. I love to travel. I love visiting other countries. I love cultures. I love diversity. I love the beach. I love the ocean, right? Um, I am. Uh, I love swimming and teaching kids how to swim. I have been swimming since I was 16. And not swimming, but I've been teaching swim lessons since I was 16. And I still do it now, even though I. it's just a hobby because I love it so much, right? And so the smell of chlorine just kind of makes me happy. <laughs> I'm a Spurs fan. I really support activism. I'm an activist. You know, I really believe in standing up for what is just and what is right. Um, and that's extremely important to me. Advocacy. I am a godmother. These are my goddaughters. I'm a researcher. I'm still in school right now. I'm still learning. You know, I, I think that learning is a lifelong journey. And so, this is a picture of uh, a child in the library. I'm still literally on the computer looking at books, reading, 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 because I love those things. I'm a teacher. I definitely identify with being a teacher. I know not all teachers do, but I find myself teaching even when I'm not at school. Teaching is definitely part of my identity now, although it wasn't always. And lastly, I'm a Christian. We all have different religions, we all have different backgrounds, but they help influence who we are, and they're all, in some ways, valid, right? So, what I would love for you guys to do is to switch over to Nearpod, and you guys are going to watch a video that Moana sings. It's called The Song of the Ancestors. So first off, you know I love Moana because she's an island girl and I identify with that. <laughs> but mostly I love this song because Moana is asking herself, who is she? And she's saying the words that define her identity. And that's what we're gonna do today. And we're gonna do that by talking about our names. But as she sings, what I want you to do is I want you to think about what describes you? Who are you? And how could you express that? All right, let me know what you think after you read and watch the video. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 